Okay, sports fans, we're back again. We have the uh, 2010 Ford Escape hooked up to a scan gauge 2. We happen to get this from Brother Andrew, by the way, and it's still working. Actually, I've only used it on the uh, on a road trip to uh, Arizona to visit Fast Freddy, and then I put it back in a box so it wouldn't get cooked from the sun. So I just took it out today, put it back in, and it was still working good. But I wanted to show you, we have the engine idling. We just did the fuel pressure check, and what I want to do was show you the difference in the ignition timing. What was that? We got the uh, stereo turned on. Anyhow, uh, we want the ignition at zero, obviously, from the research that's been set forth. Uh, when it's at an idle here, it, it can run up to 18 or more. We're going to just rev the throttle here. We're revving it right now, and you can see that's going to change. We obviously don't want 54 degrees of ignition timing when you're running HHO. So what, we, uh, what we're going to do today, 55, and we're going to throw this thing into uh, gear just to drag the uh, ignition down. So we have the parking brake on. I just threw it in gear. Eileen, you can see it's going to drop down a bit here. In fact, it worked better in, in reverse. Let me try reverse. Maybe that's different. Yeah, for some reason, well, I had it at one degree here just to minute ago before we turn the time uh, the camera on so usually it's about five degrees it's probably warming up now so uh, in order to get that timing down you you can actually disconnect some of these temperature sensors and stuff but we want to just leave it original as much as we can for now start it off and see if the computer learns uh, uh, what the ignition needs are because it's got a couple knock sensors built right in so we wanted to see if the computer is going to figure out, because this car is supposed to have an ability to learn different types of fuel and adjust ignition. So, let's see, I'm going to put it back in park, and you see the ignition went up a bit, quite a bit. So, like I said, we're going to probably start this thing, uh, since we started up, throw it in gear just to drag that ignition down. We're going to try it again. We can throw it back in, re in reverse for drive. You see we lost five degrees right there. So it's worth a try. There you have it.